Only on 7 Tonight, Michigan Supreme Court Justice Richard Bernstein is answering questions about working remotely from halfway around the world. He's been pulling double duty for months in hopes of inspiring other people with disabilities. The justice, who's blind, is in Tel Aviv tonight, and he spoke with 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykhet on the phone. For Michigan Supreme Court Justice Richard Bernstein, the past couple of months have been a chance to serve the people of our state remotely, while also pursuing a global awareness campaign on a subject that's near and dear to his heart. Since nothing is being done in person, since there's no event, uh, discussions or meetings with anybody, you know, my perception was, why not be in a place where you can actually do something exciting that could make a difference and have an impact? Speaking with us by phone, Michigan Supreme Court Justice Richard Bernstein is reflecting on a journey he calls life-changing. During the COVID-19 pandemic, as he and other justices have all been working remotely, he's been spending his personal time meeting with leaders and community groups in Dubai while advocating and raising awareness about disability rights. He says he's been able to share his personal experiences as a blind man with countless other people. What I actually do is go to these different places, show them possibilities that they had never thought. And people say to themselves, wait a minute, I never realized this could happen. I never realized that my children could do this. Taking his own story on the road, Justice Bernstein tells us the time difference has allowed him to perform his duties for the court and also have incredible discussions and give interviews that can impact change. We've created a new energy and a new excitement for people with disabilities. And countries all over the world have asked if I'd be willing to help work with them on rewriting their constitutions, on working on legislation. While travel restrictions have also been a factor during Justice Bernstein's time away, he says he's been humbled by the good-natured people he's met and their desire to work together. He tells us part of his time is also devoted to strengthening relations between Arab countries and Israel as a Jewish man. Are you in Israel now continuing that work, or what are your plans from here on out? I've moved on to Tel Aviv. I have a mission, and I'm trying to finish up this mission. As soon as the mission is complete, then I'll be home. Or when things are done in person. If we ever have an in-person court, I'll be there in person. Justice Bernstein says the close relationships formed on this trip are something that he treasures, and he's eager to continue advocating for this cause as much as his schedule can allow. Simon Shaykhat, 7 Action News.